the, in the city with the, the Kalashnikovs, uh, with the civilian version of automat, automat Kalashnikov, it's not uh, useful. Okay. Let me ask you to give us your perspective on why it's important for the people to have the right to keep and bear arms. Give us your plea. Скажіть, будь ласка, які є перспективи для людей, які хочуть володіти такою зброєю? На сьогодні увага всієї зброярської спільноти української і не тільки. Ми маємо підтримку і з Європи, і я так розумію, що з Америки. Прикута саме в діяльності нашої асоціації. Ми наблизились достатньо близько, не вистачає трохи дотиснути. For for now we are rather close to our law, which will allow us to carry any weapon with the support of European colleagues and American also. We need just a little push, a little support to have this problem problem solved. Ми сподіваємося, що найближчим часом нам вдасться це здолати, але хотілося б, щоб люди за кордоном, які можуть нам хоч трошки допомогти, зробили деякі речі. Now we are very close to solve this problem, but we want people from abroad to do some things. Перше, ми хотіли б, щоб ви якимось чином хоча б довели до відома виробників, що імпортери зайняли позицію, яка повністю ігнорує нашу діяльність. Вони не приймають участі, вони не допомагають нам в боротьбі ані словом, ані ділом. First, we want you to inform people that importance of the weapon have their position with any Absolutely, with no protection and help us in this situation. Ще б хотіло, щоб можливо за допомогою вас європейський союз дізнався про те, що те імбарго, яке вони ввели, воно просто підштовхне людей на нелегальний ринок, і ситуація і без того вкрай напружена стане ще більш напруженою. Also, we want you to inform people that this embargo, which had um, provided the European Union will push uh, people to an illegal market of the weapon, and uh, this will uh, make this problem uh, much bigger than it is. Я б звісно звернувся до Барака Обами, щоб він допоміг навести нам тут лад з демократією, але я розумію, що він не є прихильником зброї у населенні. Of course, I would uh, ask Barack Obama to help us with this problem, but uh, now I see that uh, he is not very fond of uh, weapon, and uh, also he cannot uh, solve this problem. Yeah, that's that's kind of an understatement that uh, Obama doesn't like the idea of citizens having arms. We're having to fight him for that right here. <laughs> Як тільки вас заберуть зброю, ви за 20 років перетворитесь на Україну, і вас будуть розстрілювати в вас на площах. Влада скрізь однакова. I want to tell all the Americans that uh, if uh, someone will take away your weapon, in 20 years we, you will uh, become Ukrainians, and uh, your power will shoot you in the uh, middle of your city, uh, just on the street. Yes, yes. We definitely believe that. Well, I just want to have one follow-up question. In your opinion, as we see pressure building up, what do you think is going to happen in the Crimea? Is Russia going to occupy that, uh, split it off from the Ukraine? What do you think is going to happen with that? I want to ask you about the situation in Crimea, regarding the occupation of Russian forces in Crimea. Well, at the moment, no one has been on the side of the Ukrainian government to call it the annexation and occupation. No one. From now, uh, no, none of the Ukrainian political powers uh, can tell this annexia or occupation. Ситуація дуже неприємна. Ми завжди знали, відчували те, що Росія певним чином впливала в перебіг подій, які відбуваються на Майдані. This is quite an uh, unpleasant situation. We also uh, have known that uh, Russia were uh, involving some, somehow 
то the situation on the Maidan. Але в нас є така надія, що вистачить здорового глузду. В Росії є свої проблеми, хай займаються своїми проблемами, бо в них їх може виникнути більше, ніж вони собі думають. Росія фактично розривається на частки від сепаратичних настроїв в них, в Росії. Ми думаємо, що Росія має достатньо свої проблеми. Росія є... Struggling uh, from the separatical uh, uh, movements inside Russia, so uh, we want uh, Russia to make uh, to solve their uh, own problems. В них є Сибір, які в тісних стосунках з Китаєм. They have Siberia, which is uh, uh, strictly connected with China. В них є Курильські острови. They have Kurilian Islands. В них є Урал де люди називають себе не росіянами, а уральцями. They have also Ural Mountains, which people of this area call them not Russians, but Uralian peoples. І врешті-решт в них є свій Кавказ. Хай займаються своїми проблемами. Russia has a number of their own problems, the separatical things and uh, they also have uh, Ural, Kafkaz or Siberia, Kurilian Islands. So uh, uh, it's enough problems to solve uh, uh, directly in, in Russia without uh, taking part in the Ukrainian uh, events. Yes, we feel that way about our government as well. We feel like they have enough problems here domestically that they don't need to get involved in every conflict around the world, but they do it anyway. <laughs> Америка має ту ж саму проблему, що в них є досить багато конфліктних ситуацій в середині країни, але тим не менш уряд приймає участь у конфліктах десь за межами. Сподіваюся, я не повинен це коментувати. Я сподіваюся, я не повинен це коментувати. Yes. Well, let me ask you what you would like to say to the American people in closing about the Ukrainian revolution. Дозвольте мені запитати у вас, що ви можете сказати американським людям стосовно нашої революції. Так, так, нашої революції, ситуації в цілому. Ви знаєте, ми фактично сьогодні спостерігаємо, як в моралі те, що в нас залишилось з Радянського Союзу, та частина ще комуністичної системи. In fact, we we see now how to how dies this part of the communist period, which we were having left from Soviet epoch. Українці змінилися, вони хочуть самостійно будувати нову країну, їм не потрібні ці негідники, крадії, ці злочинці, які вже 22 роки знаходяться в нас при владі. Ukrainians have changed. They don't have, they don't want to have these criminals with, so helping them with their rules. So they will build Ukraine by their own. Я хочу, щоб ви знали, що українці люблять один одного, і немає різниці з Західу він, або зі Сходу, або з Криму. Ми всі однакові, але особливо ми однакові, коли беремо в руки зброю. I want you to know that Ukrainians love each other, doesn't matter from the south and from north we are, from the west and from the east. And mostly we love each other when we have a weapon in our arms. Yes, well, we wish you, we hope that you can achieve liberty and true independence. And if you've got a government that recognizes your right to protect yourself and keep and bear arms, then you will have a legitimate government. That'll be the test to see whether, whether you've got it. We wish you success in that. Thank you for talking to us. We wish you freedom, democracy, freedom, успіху у досягненні ваших починань і дякую вам за цю бесіду. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Best of luck. Best of luck to you. Well, that was the Ukrainian Gun Owners Association and on their site in English, much of it is in Cyrillic, but 
in English, we could see many quotes about the right to keep and bear arms and the fact that if you don't have it, you're slaves. And you heard him say that in the interview. He understands that. That's why I wanted to talk to him. It's difficult to get a fix on what's going on there. We certainly know what's going on at the level between the U.S. and the American government. It's a very dangerous game that the State Department is playing. But we certainly hope that they can get their freedom and independence from both international bankers as well as any domination from dictators at home. Well, if you want to keep up to date on this, we hope that you'll subscribe to Prison Planet TV. Just one subscription will let you share this with at least 10 other people simultaneously. And you can watch all the documentaries that Alex Jones has produced. Well, that's it for tonight. We'll be back on Monday at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. And the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution. InfoWarsStore.com You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.